Adventure into the Unknown. That sounds great as a book title. I mean, imagine reading an adventure book about someone who goes off on their journey and it's called Venture into the Unknown. That always sounds so exciting. Well, it would be exciting for any movie, book, or story that you can imagine. But the thing is, it's only exciting and great as long as it's not your own story. When you are involved, you don't like that. Because humans, we like to stay in the known. We like to stay with our habits, our routines, our daily lives. We don't like to step into the unknown and have something new there because it's scary for us. In German, there's a word for that that describes mankind. It's called Gewohnheitstiere and roughly translates to animals of habit. And that's what we are actually, because I mean, society defines everything in our lives. Think back to when you were a child. Your parents were gods. You didn't see them as humans that could do wrong. They were always just gods who could never do wrong, who decided everything in your life. When you woke up, when you had to go to bed, when you had to eat dinner, what you had to eat for dinner, every single thing. And then at primary school, teachers came along. And they were in addition to that because Teachers, they also told you everything what you had to do. When you go to class, which class you had, what you had to learn, your homework, every single thing is defined by others. And that keeps going until you reach grade 12. Because in secondary school, suddenly you have your friend group. I mean, everyone can still remember that when the friend group thought something was cool, then you automatically thought that it was cool too even though you might not have liked it when you were younger or you might still not like it. Your friend group also defined your daily life, everything about you. But all of that kind of changes when you reach grade 12, because in grade 12, for the first time in your whole life, you have to make a decision that could change your whole life. It's astonishing really, because up to this point, nothing really had consequences. When you choose the wrong subject, you could still change it. Nobody really cared about your grade nine uh, report card. It doesn't matter. But then in grade 12, suddenly everything does matter because after grade 12, you don't have to go to school every day anymore. Society doesn't define that anymore. And that's really, really scary because you have to decide what to do with your life. And that's really, really scary for all of us, I think. I know nobody in my grade who isn't at least a bit scared of making the wrong decision, of not doing the right thing, of taking a path in life that they might not end up being happy with. Because suddenly in grade 12, we have to decide what to do with our lives. And that's something the protagonists of our own stories never had to deal with up to this point. It's the start of an adventure for us. And it's the first great turning point in every hero story. The hero always has to make a decision between being selfless, going on a journey, saving the princess, or he's selfish, stay safe in the known area. That's always the choice that the hero has, more or less. And the thing is, in our life, we also have that. But it's not that simple. It's way harder living than just reading or looking at. Because in our lives, there's so, so many options. You could do a gap year, you could go to university, which one will it be, which country will you live in, will you move out, everything. It's just a lot for us. And there's no morally right or wrong. There's no selfish and selfless option. Because all the options, we can't decide if they're good or bad at the moment. You can't decide if it's good or bad because we don't know. We will only know we will take the path. And looking back at it, it will get easier to decide which option we should have taken. But we will never know for sure, because even if we decide later on that the path that we took was not the best one for us, we will never know which one would have been the best one, because we would never know how it would have turned out. And that is what was really scary, because you don't see that in hero stories. You never have the hero make a decision that is probably not the best one, and others might see it, but the hero himself doesn't. And that's really, really scary, because we want to live a hero story. We want to have a story where we end up with a happy life and everything happily ever after, like a fairy tale. We don't want to have one of the stories where we make wrong decisions, where we end up with a mediocre life, maybe. 
We want to be a story that's told, and that's what we're scared of, because we don't want to be an untold story. And um, I think a lot of people, maybe also you, the audience, can relate to that, because you have to make this choice at some point in life. And many of you might have had this choice already, or will have this choice multiple times again. And that's why I will present to you today basically a guide on how to venture into the unknown, a small guide on how to decide, basically. It's funny, actually, if you think about it. This is like any great prophecy in every hero story you ever hear. It's always this prophecy that rhymes and will define the hero's journey. And this is my prophecy. And it's funny because why does fate always rhyme? It's really bizarre if you think about it, actually. But yeah, in this guide, I will just tell you how I approach it, how I make my choices, and I have to live with that. And I think so far I've been doing quite well, actually. And now that I have to face the first real great choice in my entire life, it really, really is a good guide for me to go on. And I think many of you might benefit from that. And the first thing that I always ask myself is, what is my dream? What do I want to achieve? And I think all of you have to do the same thing because that's the first and uttermost important thing. It's the only important thing, actually. Because when you go into the unknown, you want to achieve greatness. You want the happy end. And you can only achieve that if you actually try to go for your dream. Because you might fail, but if you don't go for it, if you never try, then you will never know if you could have succeeded. And I'm not saying that if you put the effort in and actually go for your dream, that you will, of course, achieve it. No, we're still talking about real life here. In hero stories, that might be the case, but that's not something that translates to real life. In real life, effort can increase your chances, but effort won't guarantee anything. And that's really something that we have to understand, but still, we have to go for it. Because if we go, uh, don't go for it, then we might never actually succeed. Then we will live the mediocre life. We have to venture into the unknown. We have to be courageous to do that. So if you want to be an astronaut, then go to websites of NASA, ESA, etc. Go to resources, try to learn and try to apply it. Actually go for your dream. If you want to be an actor, go to castings. If you never try to go into the unknown, even if it's scary, you'll never have the chance of achieving greatness. And sometimes, even with putting all this effort in, you might fail. That's something we have to consider because it's, life is not a fairy tale. You, just because you put effort in doesn't mean that you will automatically succeed. And that's really, really sad for us to think about because in every story that we see, if the hero actually tries, he can always achieve his goal. But for us, it's not as simple, because life isn't as simple. So that's the second point of my guide that you have to actually take into consideration, the what ifs. The first what if, of course, is what if you succeed? Well, in order to do that, first you have to do a lot of effort. You have to prepare. Remember when you watch any movie where the hero has this training montage with epic music and the mentor teaches them and everything goes great and then they go, the hero goes off to his own story? That's how you should go about it. In order to succeed, you have to maximize your chance at succeeding. And you do that mainly by preparing. So if you want to be an actor, join a theater club. Find somebody who can teach you how to act. Find a mentor, basically. That's something we should adapt from hero stories in our own lives. Because the venture into the unknown doesn't start with making the decision. It doesn't start when you actually go and do what you want. It starts right now, before all of that. It starts when you make your preparations, when you find a way how to do it, when you try to maximize your chances. Your story has already started. My story has already started. I want to go to university, so I'm learning a lot. I'm trying to do extracurriculars. I'm doing all this stuff. And then I make my decision. And then I try to achieve my dream. And that's what everybody in grade 12 has to do. 
and is trying to do right now. We all try to maximize our chances. And then if we succeed, what comes after that? Because are you actually happy at that point? Is that your life? Well, basically, it's not that simple. Because in life, you don't just have one dream and that's it. You have many dreams. And that's the cool thing, because after you achieved one, you can go on and find a new one and try again and again and again. Your life isn't like a movie, where in the end, everything is wrapped up and you have your happily ever after. Your life is a TV show. You have multiple seasons, multiple character arcs. It's not just one single story. So you can try to achieve new dreams, be successful again, have multiple stories in your own story. And well, you have to think about the same things when you fail, because that's also an option. What if you don't succeed at achieving your dream? What if you fail even though you put in so much effort? Well, you also find a new dream. Maybe you try to achieve the same dream. Maybe it's slightly changed because you have changed along the way. Maybe it's an entirely new dream because your ambitions have changed. All of that is okay, but you have to try again. And you will be more successful probably because you have learned so much along the way. Trying is never unsuccessful because every time you try, you get more experience, more knowledge, and then you can try again and you have more options in your preparations. You can incorporate the knowledge that you've gathered along the way into your preparations. So your chances of success are way higher the next time you try. And that's a really cool thing, because even though you go in the un into the unknown, you have a sense of control to some degree. And that's something that gives us security to a certain extent. Because we know even though we might fail, we never fail at life. Because life is the trying and trying again. And it's the constant pursuit of happiness. Achieving your own dream, achieving greatness. That's what life is all about. It's about going into the unknown. Life is the unknown. And we are the ones that have to define our own venture in our life. Thank you.